Welcome everyone to Newington, Connecticut and Callahan's Bolarama for the super match play position round of the Cambridge Credit Invitational with $7,500 added money. Bruce Hall here with my broadcasting partner in crime, Brian Gaskill. How are you doing, Gas? All right, Bruce. How are you doing? Welcome. And our special guest from Cambridge Credit, Mr. Gordon Oliver. How are you doing, Gordon? Doing great. Thanks, Bruce. Gordon. Hello, Gas. Pleasure to be here, man. Thank you Glad so to much. Have you. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. And I wanted to uh, just spend some time explaining the situation here. So we have had the uh, Cambridge going on all day. We had a qualifying squad this morning uh, at 9 a.m. And we had, uh, what, 80-something bowlers bowl that. The top 16 in points for the year were exempt from that round. And they went straight into the super match play round, except two of those bowlers who were eligible for it did not make it, which included Chris Vialli of Cambridge and Andrew Hall. So those two guys were not able to come to, the, to claim their place in match place. We actually took 26 bowlers this morning, and that rounded out our 40 for the super match play round. Now, the way super match play works is that they each bowler bowls eight games, and then they bowl on a different pair and with a different set of three opponents for each game, and the winner on the pair gets 60 bonus pins. The runner-up gets 40, the third gets 20, and the loser gets zero. So for every person you beat on a pair, you get 20 bonus pins. So here we are, after having bowled seven of those games, we are in game eight, and we are looking at the top four players here, which include Dennis Bissonnette, Aaron Major, Alex Aguiar, and Frankie Kalka, and with Alex in the lead. And so they are vying to be in the top four, so that after which we will have a stepladder. So we're gonna bring you this game, then we're going to sign off, and then we're going to have a four-person step ladder, which will then determine our champion. Does that make sense, guys? Did I? What did I miss? You got it. All right. Nailed it. Nailed it. There we go. That's right, baby. Come on. So we are looking at one through four, as we said, and the order is Alex, Dennis, Frankie, and Aaron. Alex at plus 652, and again, these bowlers have bowled seven games, and then they've had bonus pins, right? So Alex has been averaging about 240 uh, during his games, including a 300 game and he has 340 bonus pins. Dennis Bissonnette has been averaging 230. He's got 360 bonus pins. Frankie Kalka at plus 549. Alex is plus 652. Dennis plus 583. Frankie plus 549. And Aaron Major at plus 535. If we ended right now, that would be your step ladder. However, we do have five through eight, and that's gonna be on the pair to our right, and that includes Tim Healy, who's at plus 529, only six pins behind Aaron Major. So very easy to make a position swap there. Paul Smith, only seven pins behind at 528. Ian Lang, only 16 pins behind at 519. And Alex Cavanaro, 54 pins behind at 481. So really, any of those players, guys, could make a move depending on what happens with the top four, right? So Absolutely. And it's very likely that you will see at least one of those guys from the five through eight position sneak into the stepladder. Would you agree with that? Abs I would almost bet on it. A yeah. lot about the yeah. uh, bonus pins, right? Bonus pins are big. Yeah, right. bonus pins are big because if you, uh, if you actually beat everybody, you get 60 bonus pins. So imagine if Tim Healy, who's in fifth at plus 529, gets his 60 bonus pins. Shoots 240 and wins all his matches. He gets he up wins. plus 100. He gets wow. 100 over. You know, he could get he's up gonna to He's going to go by somebody on the one. Yeah. yeah, he's going to pass somebody, right? So so that's where we are, and we will be uh, following this for you. And they actually just started. It was five minutes of practice. We wanted to get started a little early because I knew it would take some time to explain that. Uh, so then we'll talk about the shot a little bit. This is Neva number 959. Yes, we are only 41 events away from Neva number 1,000. It's almost getting to where we can start to look at the schedule. We have 27 events on our schedule this year. So sometime next year in 2023, we will hit event number 1,000, and I will be president Amazing. at that time. So what that's do you awesome. think about that? So that's pretty exciting. So here we go. That's huge. I should go back and figure out how many of them I actually bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. Oh, me too. It's sad. Uh, I know I won four of them. 
Yeah. Well, that was it, though. I was hoping. So, I was hoping. Go, I, so. I have three. I was hoping I'm at least one percent wins. So maybe I'm three for three hundred. <laughs> three for is that bad? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. One that's out not, of hundred is that think bad? That's a terrible loop. No, I don't think that's too bad. It means you're on the map. It's not Tiger esque, but it's not. You know. <laughs> no, it's Tiger not, was not, like three out of four. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's not nothing. Well, Tiger won most of his uh, events out of a couple of different golf courses too, right? You know, yeah. Kind of like you know, so kind of like Alex and EP, I guess you could say so. So we're kicking things off, and you notice uh, we have three lefties on this pair, uh, and then we have uh, Paul Smith and Ian Lang on the next pair. So a fair bit of and Tim Healy. representation, excuse me, and Tim Healy. So a fair bit of representation on the left. I think part of that gas is the pattern. So we're looking at a 3.8 to 1 pattern, 24.5 mils, 40 feet in length. And this is the uh, finals pattern, the qualifying pattern this morning was a similar, exact same length, similar volume, but five to one. So the pattern so it was a little higher. And what I heard a lot of people um, report, uh, especially on the right, is they had dry heads and hooking heads, is like John Van Hees said this, who missed the cut, and a few other folks, hooking heads and not a great back end. Right. So and that gets worse on the right, and it holds up more on the left. So I think that's what you're, partly what you're seeing. Scratchy heads just felt like, um, the, the, the righties just had to start deeper yep. and then chase faster and, like you said, really no defined breakdown area to throw it to because you started so far left at the beginning. That's right. That's and they right. just never opened up. You know, normally when they're slightly flatter, the right gets better as the day goes on and didn't feel like they really did. Yep. A couple of quick observations. It looks like the uh, five through eight pair got off to a better start than... The one uh, through four it, pair. It does. Yeah, it does. And we got Paul Smith with a double over there. Yep. Uh, so and triple up there. Yep. And obviously, we'll be doing a lot of math. and. Uh, that's what you brought me here uh, for. That's, that's right. That's my department. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you, you better get your calculator and your pencil out because we got to add up all these scores, especially as we get down to it to figure out who needs what. And actually, the other thing I'd observe, Gordon, is that they're in the third frame. And moving into the fourth, and we're still in the second frame here on 31 and 2. So it looks like we're going to be done on 35 and 6. Sooner I will say, I will say one thing. 31 and 2. And we'll I got the happens. old obstructed view Fenway seat, like when you're sitting behind the poles in Fenway, <laughs> because I can't see anything on 31 and 2 because the monitors are in my way. Oh well, maybe. <laughs> we'll keep you up to date. So, no problem. You know, you realize there's enough core that you could stand up. You understand that? Uh, well, okay, you realize that. And you could still broadcast, even. All right. Okay. We got you. Just, just laying that out for you, Hawks. I just, you know, I no, just looked no up, and I'm, so, I can't yeah, see so. a pin. Yeah, there you go. Getting back to your uh, explanation yeah. of the experience for the right-handers today, off the broadcast, speaking with Alex, he is the self-proclaimed great right hope today. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job of it. Well, he sure He's is. leading by and, 70. You know, and we've seen Alex numerous times beat out the lefties and uh, overpower lane condition. And that seems to be certainly what he's doing here. And uh, let's actually watch Alex really closely on this shot and see how he's playing it. Shout out to the UK, Carl Buckley. How you doing, Carl? I've mentioned your name once or twice in the uh, Bowling Promotion Cup. And Alex is right down Bam. third arrow, right down the seam. And a pretty good shot there, striking. But no doubles yet on this pair, also no opens. So everybody's pretty much par with everybody else. Uh, and even though we're on 35 and 6, who's that with the four-bagger? Um, was Tim that Healy, Healy, I think. Yeah, yeah that's Healy. Okay, so, so Healy off to the, the hot start over on 35 and 6. And again, we'll have to give you the radio call on that pair. Uh, we don't exactly have different cameras to go to, so we will let you know what's going on there. And there's uh, Paul Smith over on... 36 blowing the rack and fresh off the RPI. And here is Frankie Kalka gets the mixer. And Carrie, you gotta it, you gotta believe was a challenge for everybody here. It's not just getting to the pocket, but whenever you have early hook and then sluggish back ends, which was true even on the left, as a guy who bowled on it this morning, um, you are always trying to figure out a way on how to get the ball to go through the pins the right way. And there's Bissonnette with the first double on the pair. Very smooth right there. There we go. Dennis looking very strong. He was in the top 16 of the points, as was Alex, as was Frankie Kalkin, as was Aaron Major. So actually all four of these guys came in off the seating. 
um, and none of them had to go through the qualifying this morning. <laughs> and Aaron Major with the commanding double. Nice to see uh, in practice he was striking at will and then opened up maybe with a little nerves. Yeah. You know, spare and then double. Now he's back on track. He missed once, and then he crushed it for two. So it looks like he's throwing a lot of surface, too, guys. Here goes Frankie. He's got that touch, and he give him the double. All of a sudden, three out of four double. All the lefties have doubled. Now let's see what Alex can do here. I feel like I reverse jinxed this pair now. Once I spoke about it, now they're all striking. So I think you did. The well, all the lefties are striking. Let's see what <laughs> Alex can do here. Healy's got the front five to the right. Healy front five making a bid for the show. And Alex, bingo. There he is. Everybody now has doubled. And again, the pair back to basically even. All four bowlers doubled in the last two frames as soon as we said that none of them had doubled. And there's Paul Smith. Just double spare double to try to keep up with Healy. And Alex Cavanaro. Cleans up a spare. Wow. And that is just insanity. And I'll bet you he shortens pin life. They don't say that much, but I got to believe that that is just a crushing shot by Aaron Major. And here's Dennis. Can he match? And those doubles are now turning into triples. Another great shot here. Again, we've had seven games on these pairs. So. Look for a little bit of uh, wear. And uh, Ian Lang just sailed one out the window. There is OB, believe it or not, outside. You can miss. Um, but these guys who are in the lead obviously have figured out how to work the pattern and get the ball to the pocket. Some of the other finalists uh, we'll be tracking in ninth was Anthony Pepe, Adam Chase. Ooh, Alex got a break Tenth. there. Corey Four nine, dropped the nine. Corey Umbrello, top 16. Randy Hagemoser, top 16. Tom Salamini, Todd Lathrop, Ditto Fitzpatrick, Brandon Vallone, Jeremy Melito, Darren Andretta, Christopher Forey, Matt Fazone, Anthony Scotia, Bill Beck, John, uh, Little John Williston, Gary Korinsky, Tom Coco, Brandon Robertson, Michael Lichstein, Peter Fox, Kevin Tebow, Jay Johnson, Robert Green, Rich Brooks, Jeremy Hartbarger, Scott Santos, Zach Binkowski, Jesse Gibson, Robert N. Green Jr., Joe DePetto, Jim Savasta, and Chad LePage are your other finalists. And again, we are tracking these top eight to see who they are going to be the top four to go to our stepladder. And where Alex fails to complete the triple, Frankie gets up and throws a split, which is going to be trouble for Frankie. Frankie in the tenuous position of being plus 549 with Healy right on his, on his tail at 529, only 20 behind. And remember, it's 20 bonus pins for every person on the pair that you beat. And so right now, Healy with the front six. Actually. Paul Smith's got 279 going, so that they, they right. two of them could jump in, actually, Easy. if they keep going. Easily, that's right. Ooh, and ring and seven. Bissonette with a ring of seven. Bissonette at 583, definitely vulnerable. And he only just left a six pin. Really a little bit high for a six pin, but when you go front six, that's a good start. Big shot for Aaron Major right here. Major trying to extend to four. I'll and tell you, he's does. doing something. I mean, we've seen him bowl a lot because he's usually alive still when we get to this point uh, where we're broadcasting. He's actually hitting up on the ball a little bit to try and get it through the front a little. A little. I've never seen him do that. Usually he pounds the ball into the lane quick. Yeah. And he's actually using roll. surface and hitting up on it and lofting it a little bit, Grabbing which it. I've never it's seen him do that. a little bit down the Yeah, lane. he's yeah. doing yeah. something totally different, which speaks to his versatility. Hey, if everybody could share the feed, we'd really appreciate it. Um, we can uh, extend our uh, viewership here. And once again, we've got, and Frankie comes back with the mixer to carry after the open. Frankie, the only one under on the pair. And Paul Smith is on double spare, so, now four back. Yeah, they're both going to 279 over there, Healy and so Paul Smith. So uh, Smith and he, Frankie better get going quick. They're basically tied up. I would say uh, 
Frankie's in trouble, and I would even say that Dennis is in trouble at 583. Once again, Dennis. Healy, 529, Smith, 528, right behind each other. So both of them could take a run at Dennis Bissonnette here. Um, even though he is plus, he's plus 20 for the game, and currently in second place. Ooh, oh, trouble man. Trouble for Aaron Major. Gets an early read. You talked about that read gas. You know, he's trying to get that ball to pick up. That looks like the most surface I think I've ever seen ever. throw. And again, also not getting the ball down at the line. He's actually trying to yeah, launch it out on the lane a little bit. Throw that out over the, over the lane. And here's Alex with another four pin. And Alex pacing at 2-0 with only a single double and no other strikes. And Tim Healy just opened. He just flagged a seven pin, Ooh. it looks like. So that's going to put Healy in the two... 40s. Where's our official binoculars so that we can He's got 97, 197 in the eighth, so he's 237. Yeah, 37 only. Yeah, Pace. Six, yeah. And here's Bissonnette giving the mixer. Pretty good, pretty good carry on that mixer. Here's most Paul of the Smith. Time with these. Oh, Ooh, almost man. stolen the nine. Man, Double just went it tipped over. Whoa. Double spare five bagger for Smith. <coughs> You can actually catch some of the balls on that pair on the right if you have a look. And let's see if we can zoom in. We'll have a look at the score here so we can show you what's up with the score. If you can make it out, it's hard to tell. Uh, right now we have Alex at plus six. We have Aaron Major who just opened to be at 2-teen only even with a four-bagger. And Frankie Kalka under and Bissonnette pacing to two team and great shot there by Alex and here's Ian Lang coming back with a triple of his own on top of a double I think he's got an open in the middle there he can Let's get he can only get to 231 on they're in the ninth frame already These yeah he can get to 231 um, so if if Healy mar mark just marks an attempt, the best uh, Lane could do would be finished third on that pass, so that's not going to be enough probably. You might have the four fastest bowlers in the building here, guys. Paul Smith There's struck Paul again. Smith. He's got 279 wood going to, the, uh, going to the tenth. That would be enough to get him in somewhere, I, uh, I assure you. Big shot by Dennis. That was nice. So, Gordon, I just wanted to thank Cambridge so much for sponsoring. Uh, what does it mean to uh, see this great event unfold? Well, uh, look, Christopher Vialli, our CEO, is just a tremendous ambassador of bowling. And I am honored to be here. Obviously, 1963, this club has been going. And to be here and watch so many great players just compete, throw it amazingly, it's a great uh, opportunity for us to to support bowling, because Chris has obviously been in bowling his whole entire life. Since I met him, we were childhood friends. So he's always had his heart in bowling, and obviously we're here today as a, a proud sponsor. And for Cambridge Credit Counseling and the mission that we have to educate people for financial wellness in the Northeast, not a better platform really to be involved in sports, and we're glad to be here. Awesome. Well, we can't thank you enough for your sponsorship, and, and in addition to all that Christopher and Cambridge have done. They added 3,500 to this tournament, which Neba matched and exceeded, actually, because we put money aside from each entry. So that's over $7,500 added money to this tournament. Amy and Christopher Vialli personally are offering $20 to anyone who brings a woman to a Neba who's not bold Neba before. It'll be $20 off that entry. So that's a personal bounty offered wow. by Christopher and Amy. Phenomenal. So just in addition to all the else they do, uh, that's something else that they did. i got to tell you about the shot Ian Lang just made. He was going for his four-bagger, and he comes up a little bit high for an 8 Stone eight in the ten. pocket. Thank you very much for nothing. So, that so was Healy doubled. Stunning. Healy doubled. He got the 250. Healy's looking at 250. So, uh, Paul Smith still 270 in the wood. Yeah, those and guys could both jump in here. They're very, they're kind enough to give us time to do a little math here, Haas, and then we can, uh, then we can uh, figure out what is going to happen on this title pair. Here's a huge shot for Alex if he can double. 
Oh, I saw that. Through the beak. And he's like, whoops. And there you go. And Healy, two, five, seven for Healy. And great shot there. Ian Lang, by virtue of that nasty 8-10, ends up 2-18. So Lang, 2-18. Let's see where that puts him. Uh, Alex Cavanaro, maximum 208. And here's Paul Smith going for 279. Again, these are balls to your right of your screen. That's and 10. That's, that's huge gonna, shot right there. That, I'm, that's going to put That's going to lock him in on one spot, I'm Paul sure. Paul Smith into the 260. He's going to shoot 260 or 270 plus 60. So that's going to be plus 100 and if he goes 279 plus 60 that's plus 139. Yeah, one he's game. definitely that's definitely enough no matter what happens in front of us here. 139 and Aaron Alex, right back on it. Yep. Yeah, 139 would put him at 567, right? So Healy's going to finish second in that pass. So he's going to be plus 97 for that game. Right. Right? So that's get him to uh that's right. 626. Here's nice Smith break for Dennis the right there the tripping the 68. Paul Smith dead flush, second shot in the 10th. 270 in the wood, looking at 279. Big games coming from the five and six positions. And here's Alex, or excuse Alex trying to get back on track here. He's been frustrated by the carry. And got the right dead flush, beautiful shot by Alex. Alex going pretty hard, trying to get it through the front and getting it to turn up. Is anything happening on that end pair, guys, that we ought to be looking at? The only guy would be Pepe if he shot a huge, huge game, and I, I don't see I don't see a lot of strikes up there. And Paul Smith just lost a, a screaming eight pin with a messenger to come back to complete the 279. So what a beautiful game by Paul Smith. He's just about locked in the stepladder. We'll just figure out where he ends up. Do you have all those scores, Gas? 139. And Bissonnette punching his ticket with spare triple spare so how about this? four bagger. How about this? The Bissonnette looking strong. Paul Smith, if Alex doesn't double in the tenth, Paul Smith could could possibly jump all the way to one. Possibly, depending on what the well, other guys do. Let's put Bissonnette. Let's put Bissonnette on two sixty nine with sixty. That would That'll be an, put that one twenty nine. That would put Bissonnette on the That would. Lead. That would. Yes. So Bissonnette can easily pass Alex here to take the number one position. In fact, may already have because Alex is going to wind up being seventy ninety. Alex is second. So Alex is going to have twenty pins as we speak. Well, not necessarily. He, uh, Aaron could still beat him. Oh, oh not anymore. Man. That Aaron goes through the. He beat. needed that one. Four, six, ten. 80, that's going to put him in the 90s, two teen maximum for, for Major. That's a pretty big shot for Frankie if he can keep it in play. And he gets the mixer, 5, 6, 10, and the 5 stays. Not even a paralyzer, just a mixer. That tells you what the back ends are doing, guys. These balls just do not drive through the pins. I think we're down to four. It's just a matter of what order. It looks like Healy and Smith, Healy and Paul Smith are going to jump in. Are going to jump over. A Alex and Dennis are going to hang on. And Frankie and Aaron are in trouble. Uh, Frankie and Aaron are in trouble. Okay, here we go. But again, the if Alex would, this is a big shot Alex for Alex. Needs right to strike here. Alex would drop the third if he don't strike here. That's true. And we thought he had a huge lead, and and he did. Can he, can he keep the lead? If he goes, he goes two twenty six. He'll finish second and get 40 pins. 66? 66 yes. maximum. Yes. Okay. I am watching the gas man math it up right now. He's mathing it, baby. And Alex with a firm oh, shot. Oh, big shot for Alex. There's a championship shot yeah. right there, baby. Beautiful shot. Hashtag not shocked. <laughs> and right up the piker, not taking any now, chances right at it. And Frankie if finished he goes, 189 how about for this? Frankie. How about this? You so want you want oh, you want hold on. Frankie's going to be 189 with zero pins. Yeah, he's he's so Frankie's going to be out. Right. If Alex goes nine spare here, him and Paul Smith are going to be tied. Get out of here, really? I think so. 
Math Man. I think so. Yeah, are we changing the name to Math Man? Yeah, I wonder how we break a tie for the stepladder. I don't know. 15. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Because the bonus uh -oh. pins are going to put them ahead. All right, back to gas. I'm, I'm Alex will be No, <laughs> see, I forgot about the bonus pins already. No I'm Math Man. Alex with a week seven. You will not see that very often, and it could not have come. So Alex at a nine less spear time. is he 215. Aaron was trying to pass Alex to get the extra 20 pins. But I think that might be it for Aaron. So Aaron's going to go 210 plus 20, right? Yeah, He's that's not lose enough. to both Alex and to yeah, Bissonette. That's right? not going to be enough. So he's going to go plus 30, Will Aaron. He'll be plus 565, right? And both Healy and Smith are past him already, right? Yeah. So Kalka and Major are officially out. It's all about Alex and Bissonette and what position everybody ends up in. Healy ends up 626, Paul Smith 667. Important shot here for Alex. Just got really quiet. Looks good. The other pairs finished. Great shot for Alex. He knew it. That's two, two, six in the wood. Plus 40, right? He's going to beat two guys. So, so six, if he strikes, 66. If he strikes, that's 66. That would put him at yeah. 718. And the lead, correct? Um, not if. if Dennis strikes well, out. Yeah, if Dennis goes sheet, he's going to get 269 plus 60. He'll go Dennis can still go around him. Okay. Dennis can still go what around him. What does Dennis need? Does he need two? Um, let's wait until One Alex throws two. his shot, and I'll give you an exact number. Okay. So I know exactly what no, he has. I want the number now. Well, I can't <laughs> until he's. I don't want to wait. Math man, please. I don't want to wait for my life to be over. And All right, so that's oh, 226 plus 40, right? Yes, sir. Plus 66 plus 718. Yep. All right, Bennett, Bissonette, we're giving him 60 for, for leading the pair, right? He let, he won the pair. So 643. He's currently at 249, let's call it. 60 plus 560. 49, 60. He's plus 109 right now. 129. He's plus 109 right now. But he can only go plus 129 total, right? right? He can't. Uh, Alex just locked it up, the, the one. Alex locked it up. Can't okay, catch so him. Bissonette can get second. He's got to beat six. Yep, he's got second. For second. So Beeson at second. So Alex first, Beeson at second, Paul Smith third. Yes, and Tim Healy fourth. Tim Healy fourth. Those are your four, and we will wait for the official standings. But we do believe we have our top four. Two from the five through eight pair advanced into the stepladder. And unfortunately, Aaron Major and Frankie Kauka on the the title on the, the first pair have dropped out. And we will come back and bring you this final. There's a second strike there. Before we sign off, guys, I want to cite the Circle Lanes Many Styles of Bowling Singles event coming up at the end of this month, uh, January 29th and 30th. So that's the first BowlingSuzie.com women's event as well, where women get their first entry at $40. That's half price. Remember, all Nebas this year, unless they're specials, are 80 bucks entry fee. And BowlingSuzie.com will pay the first $40 for every woman who bowls. So if you're a woman and you want to be part of that women's series, please come out to Circle Lanes. It's going to be fantastic. On February 26th and 27th, we have the East Coast Sports Investors Trios. And on the... On the next day, we have the Strike FX Pro Shop doubles, both at East Providence coming up. Those are our next two events. So after all those so games and all those bonus pins, I got Alex in the lead by seven. Alex so lead he by needed seven. That, he needed that double to lock it up. And he knew it too, so he needed that second one. So it's Alex, then Dennis, then Paul Smith, and then Tim Healy. So it will be Smith and Healy in our first match. We're going to sign off. I believe they're going to re-oil the pair, and we're going to go ahead into the stepladder. So we will be back shortly, everyone. Thank you.